Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Max Speeding Rods brand, their Level 2 EV Charger. This is the box that came in, and we're gonna open it up and see what's inside here. It's a really nice looking box, and it's got some uh, heavy duty cardboard in here because this product has some good weight to it because it's very solidly built. Let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. So I opened up the top, there's a big cardboard piece protecting this. And this is the charger wrapped in plastic. I'm gonna take that out. So here's everything out of the box. And the first thing I noticed is it is extremely heavy duty, high quality. These cables, I've never seen cables this thick before on this 50 amp connector. Unbelievable. Here's the RFID that you're going to be passing over here to get the thing to start. Um, just incredible. We're going to show the mount system. This is the included holder you can put on the wall with the included screws. And to mount the charger, it has these really large butterfly metal screws. And there's a good reason for that. This thing weighs and you want to be able to hold it securely. Comes with a really nicely written instruction manual. There's a three year warranty on this product from the manufacturer, which is really impressive. Most are just a year. And a certificate approval talking about that it was passing all the tests for the person that was assembling this. So this is a level two EV charger with a Wi-Fi connection. And it's gonna be talking to an app called We E Charge. We're gonna show that. I have it loaded on my phone already. It uses a universal J1772 connector, which has this nice silicone holder on there. And that's a universal connector that a lot of cars use. I'm going to be testing this on a Kona EV that I own, but this works with a large number of cars out there. If you have a Tesla, you just have to get it adapted to convert this to the Tesla standard. It has a push switch right here. And it allows it to engage and disengage. And Walmart holds it in place on your wall once you mount it really nice. So this uses advanced level two up to 48 amps at 240 volts. And I believe you have to look at the thickness of that cable, it's incredible. So this has a NEMA 1450 male connection on there. And you can put this directly to the 1450 Plug. Let's take this off and take a look at it. These massive connectors on there. Unbelievable. But you can look this up and most homes will not have that. You'll have to have that installed by somebody or yourself. But this will go all the way up to that 48 amps. If you have the capacity and you're wired up for that 1450 outlet in your home. Now this software is gonna allow you to adjust this from 16 to 24 or 32 or 40 amps. And the app can be used so you can set the amperage for your home. You'll probably remember that number so that when you power it down and you swipe it with the RFID cards, it'll go back to that setting, which is really nice. Now that Wi-Fi connection is really nice because this app is gonna allow us to control and monitor charging remotely and get notified when the car is charged and fully charged and uh, allow you to even set the time it's going to charge so that you can get lower energy bills. This company will provide, as I mentioned, uh, not only do they have a three-year warranty, but they have 24-7 customer support. You can email them directly on an Amazon messaging system. This cable, by the way, is so thick and high quality and it's 24 feet long. That means you'll be able to reach your car wherever it's parked in your garage and wherever the charging port is on your car. That's crazy. And this is also IP65 tested, designed for indoor or outdoor use. So you can put this outdoor and then nobody could use it other than yourself with these RFID cards or with the app that you have set up your account. 
And this is set up even for harsh environments so that you can put this outdoors if you want to have it on your garage or on a pedestal. Even in a commercial application, you could use this quite nicely and have a professional charger outside. On the side of the unit I wanted to show you, it has a nice label here talking about the specs on this and some warnings and things to help you use this properly. There is a manufacture date and there is a code that we're going to be scanning with the app to actually test this out and test that software out. You notice on the side here there's these nice screws that you can tighten and this is the actual mount on there and this is what's going to be sliding up and down on and you're going to be using those butterfly bolts and screws to hold this on your garage wall. If you happen to hit a stud then you're going to just use a regular long screw but uh, we're going to be installing it using those four butterfly bolts and then be tightening it on the sides right here. On the side of the unit I wanted to show you something important. You see that UL listed right there? That is on the side and that's very important. That tells you that this has been tested and it's safe, water resistant, materials are fireproof and that's a real important thing on something where you're charging your car. So that's very good to see that. I want to show you the back of the unit. I have those thumb screws removed off both sides and that allows it to come out real easily just like that and there's this back portion right here which you could unscrew and if you had a version that had a sim card you could install a sim card in there. This plate itself is going to be mounted on the wall and we're going to use those butterfly nuts to secure it. So here I'm in my garage and I have the max speeding rods EV charger powered on plugged in and you can see the indicator light right there these are all just display light they're not push buttons on the side of the unit there is a QR code we're going to be using that with the app so that it recognizes this charger so we're going to use the manual and we're going to do method 2 using a Pixel 6 and make sure that your your Wi-Fi make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on because you're going to need to use the Wi-Fi for these steps you're also going to have to download this ESP Touch so here's the app that we installed we're going to just try the ESP Touch there seems to be two versions here and then you can allow it while using the app so that so it's picking up our Wi-Fi at this point so now we're going to put our Wi-Fi password in there so I had to hold it down for it to go it wasn't just a simple push button you could see that it's blinking right now now it's connecting hopefully to our home network now we're going to run that software again so it found it and let's hit OK okay so now now we're connected to this and now this is a hot spot that we could run the other app which we're going to show you next so after running this app and rescanning that code that's on the side of the charger I did get was able to get connected right now to the charger so now I should be able to use it to charge my Kona so now I'm plugged in to my electric vehicle my Kona using that plug and uh, I got the app right here it says tap to charge so on the software there is a way to limit the current you don't hit up there like I was doing so you could really pick any current you want so I typically charge this at 24 amps to be conservative and you hit tap to charge and now the Kona is responding and it's starting to do the charging of the car perfectly and it's starting off slow and it's going to build up the current and you can see now it's limiting it to 23.7 amps and here inside my dash here inside here inside my Kona EV it's showing you that it's at 93 percent charge we can let it run so now I stop the uh, app and I want to see if I could charge it using the RFD card on the device so I go to the device and I swipe that and then I heard a relay click 
and now it should be charging it and should be charging it at that rate that I set on the app and now you can see that the app recognized that I used the card to start it and it is charging it at that limited current that I set and if I want to stop it I could swipe the card and that will stop the charging and then it says charge end because I stopped it with the RFID card and now I can go back to the app and turn it back on and you see it remembered the 24 amps and I was going back and it's charging the car and if you notice on the app it is showing you what voltage is getting the current the kilowatt hours and the information of the current limit of 24 amps and when you stop or restart it as I demonstrated, you use the RFID, it should go back to that current. You could even shut the uh, app off. So if I were to take this app and turn it off, and now it's not on my phone, it still keeps charging at the 24 amp rate that I set. So from this point forward, I could just use the RFID card to turn the charger on and off. And not even use the app. Now we're at 95% charged. So now it's nearing the end of charge and it dropped the current down to 7.9 because it's at about 99% charge. And now it showed me that the charge is ended and you can see the LEDs on the Kona are off. And I'm in my Kona right now and you can see that it is 100% charged. So after testing, what do I think about the max speed rods? their EV charger where you can control it with the RFID or the app that I showed and right now it's been charging my car I've tried it a couple times and it's working great so this is a cool product you just have to take the time to get the app both apps running the one app which is going to make this device a hotspot for you and remember to hit that button whenever you have to communicate to the Wi-Fi on this device, you see it's blinking because I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, but it's not a fast blink. Fast blink is only when it's seeking. So I like this product. It's very nicely built. It runs really cool also. And I'm going to give this product from Max Speed Rods a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There will be ordering links in the information and comment section of this video review. When you order this product, please use those links to order to help support this channel. I hope this video helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.